Welcome, and in this weekly quick tutorial, we're gonna talk about logging into multiple AWS accounts using IAM roles. Let's go ahead and get started. In order to demonstrate the delegation of access from one user in an account to another account, we have two AWS accounts opened here. On my left-hand side, we have the primary account, and on the right-hand side, we have the secondary account. On the primary account, we are gonna end up creating an IM user and giving it the proper permissions, which will allow us to assume a role in that secondary account. One of the first things we need to do is receive or find our account ID inside of our primary account, because we are gonna set up a cross account role. To do this, you're gonna click on your primary account name and then select my account. I'm gonna highlight my account ID, which is blurred out for the purposes of this video. You're gonna to wanna to store that somewhere because we're gonna to need to use that here in a few minutes. So make sure you open a text file or something and put it inside of there. Next, let's go ahead and head back over to our console and we need to work out of the identity and access management service. You might hear me refer to this as I am going forward. So we open up our IM console here. We will have to create an IAM user because delegating access doesn't work with root account credentials, which we shouldn't use root account credentials at any time as best practice anyway. So in theory, you should already be, be working out of an administrative IM user. Now, one of the first things that we need to do is create a policy for the IM user that we want to allow delegated access from our secondary account. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on policies to create a new policy. We'll go and type create policy, and then the service is STS for simple token service. That's where we'll find the assume role action. So we'll go under the right section and select assume role. This is going to allow the IM user that has this to assume a role. Now from here, we need to select what resource we want to allow the assume role to be on. Now, for the purposes of this, we are gonna select any. However, we could say only allow this user to assume a role and a role that exists in a different account. So we can get very granular in our level of permissions. And the name we're gonna put in here is STS assume role. And let's put in some text that says to allow delegated access to other accounts and then create policy. Now that we've done this, let's go ahead and create the user that we want to simulate. So we'll click on users, then add user. I'm just going to use the username Linux Academy. We will want to make sure that we are giving AWS Management Console access and then a custom password. And then select next to assign our IM privileges. Now we do want to assign that existing policy we just created. So I'm going to select attach existing policies and search for our STS assume role. We're gonna select that role to attach it to the user and then next review and then create user. Now remember, we need to be as an IM user for this to work. So let's go ahead and copy our login URL for this user that we're gonna simulate and let's log in as that user. Now you might've picked up on the fact that we didn't assign any other permissions for that user. That's to give an example. So the example behind this is, let's say we opened up EC2. This user inside of our primary account has no permissions inside of the primary account, as you can see here. However, what we wanna do is delegate access and give that Linux Academy user administrative privileges in our secondary account. So let's pull over our secondary account and set up the role required for this to work. So I'm gonna open up the IM console. I'm gonna head down to roles and then select create role. From here, we want to create a cross account role or a role that allows another AWS account to access it. This is where we need our account ID. So I'm going to paste in my account ID. Now there are additional security permissions we can add to here, but for the purposes of this video, we're just going to click on next. And then we want to assign the privileges that this role has. Again, we want to give it administrative privileges. So our Linux Academy user and our primary account can assume the role in this secondary account and have administrative privileges inside of this secondary account. Now, because we created a cross account role saying that only users from the primary account that have the ability or permissions to assume roles, this will work. So we'll click next and then enter in our role name and then a role description so you understand what it means. And then when we're done with that, go ahead and select create role. 
Now, when we create the role, let's go ahead and open it up because we are actually given by the IM console a URL that we can give to the primary account user to automatically add it in for delegated access. So we're gonna copy that URL, head back over to our primary account, and then we're gonna paste it inside of that URL to open it up. Now again, this is just pasting it inside of a browser, but we're logged into the primary account. It's gonna automatically fill out the console switch role feature for us. And we're gonna add in the display name, which is a secondary account. That's how I know which account we're delegating, where we are logging into. And as you can see here, we've logged in as a user inside of our primary account. And for the purposes of this, I'm actually demonstrating here that you can see these administrative privileges. If we open up EC2, you'll notice that there is more permissions in the secondary account than there is the primary account because our secondary account user has permission to assume a role. That's all they have to do is be able to assume a role. And the role they were allowed to assume through a cross account role in our secondary account had administrative privileges. If we click at our account name at the top and browse down, you'll be able to see that there are there is one account, our account, and in my demonstration here, I have multiple accounts to demonstrate you could do this with as many AWS accounts as you want. You can switch back and forth in between accounts as long as those secondary accounts have the cross role access that allows the primary account ID to assume that specific role. That's it for the video. It's easy to use inside of your own environment if you want. You can just open it up, create a secondary account using AWS organizations and follow this quick tutorial.